This is the Tier 8 Autoloading Czechoslovakian Medium Tank, the Škoda T27, a vehicle I've been waiting a very, very long time to come into the game. It seems like an incredibly fun tank to me. It's got a 3-shell autoloader, dealing 660 damage in a matter of... Three seconds. You heard that right. A 1.5 second intra clip. This is basically a Chiri at tier 8. Now, unfortunately, to get that massive amount of damage, it suffers a lot in DPM. It's at 2052 base, which obviously isn't anything amazing. Now, the accuracy at 0.326 is pretty good, and same for the aiming time at 3.3 seconds. That's also very solid. I definitely understand why it would have good accuracy. You want a vehicle which fairly, fairly uh, aggressively relies on that gun to have at least decent accuracy to hit its shots. Now, 8 degrees of gun depression is pretty solid, and on the mobility, 50 kilometers per hour with a fantastic power to weight of 23.0. Overall, the tank is very mobile. Good gun depression seems flexible on basically any terrain, and that clipping potential seems incredibly deadly. So what's the drawback? Well, it's the armor. It has basically no armor, and of course we said the DPM, but yeah, armor, 65 millimeters on the hull and 100 millimeters on the turret. I don't even need to say that it's angled because it wouldn't matter if this thing was a 90 degree angle, it still would not be bouncing anything. Yeah, the Skoda definitely struggles in the armor, and that is going to be a big letdown if, let's say, you end up poking a vehicle like an RHM or, you know, anything that has decent penetration that will overmatch basically any of your armor. So, so that is something that is going to hurt the vehicle a lot. I don't know what to think about this vehicle yet. I've played two practice games in it, and both of them have been losses and terrible losses at that. But I can't really blame the tank for those games. It was just a really unfortunate circumstance that let the defeats happen there. So we're going to see how the vehicle performs in these two games. Hopefully it's going to go well, but uh, I guess we're going to find out. Now, all as always, or as always should I say, do not spend your money on crates. Apart from like the cheap bundle that Meatsy and every other YouTuber probably says is a decent deal. I think for like two bucks you can get two containers it was or something like that. Apart from that, I would highly suggest to save your money and buy a vehicle like the E75 TS or the Panther 8.8 or anything else that you're going to save your money on. I can already tell you just looking at this vehicle statistically, it doesn't seem like anything broken. So if you wanted this to be the next broken gray tank, it definitely isn't. It seems to be a very well-balanced vehicle, but I'm completely fine with that because I like balanced tanks, especially when you're able to do this. There's one shell in, there's two shells in, and there you go. Oh, up, 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 okay, it was about to be 660 damage, but I guess not. I guess we're dealing 440 for the first clip. That is my luck. But hey, you know what? We got another couple seconds left before we're ready to rock and roll once again. Now, just looking at the enemy team, it doesn't seem like they're all pushing up the hill, which is interesting. Normally, you see a lot of tanks do that. Now, we got the ISU off to the side. Let's aim in. There's one shell into the ISU. There's a miss, and there's a pen. You know what? I'll take it again. We're not penning every shell, but you know what? It's better than nothing. What the heck is the enemy team doing? I, I honestly have no clue. At this point, I'm pretty speechless. Their team seems to be pretty dang stupid. Well, we've got the VK driving just flat out in the open, so maybe we can get some shells in him. There's one, and there's two, and there's three. There you have it. Again, another about 400 damage clip. We haven't been able to get anything more than that, but you know what? We're doing okay. I really love the look of this camouflage. Let me know what you guys think about it in the comments down below, but for me personally, I think the camo actually looks really, really nice. Now we've got the Stutta Amil off to the side, and we've got the VK on the front. Honestly, I don't even care if this guy shoots me once. We're going to go for one tap there. Let's go for a second tap and a third tap. There you go. 680 damage dumped out on that VK. And now we drive away. Obviously, we are much faster than that tank, so don't really need to worry too much about him catching me. He's lost a pretty healthy chunk there. And again, we're just going to reload in, in three, two, one. We are going to dump right into his tank once again. There's one nice tap into him. There's two nice taps into him. And let's go for a shell into the lower plate of the WZ-110. Beautiful. So there you go. This is what the Skoda is going to play like. This is a very solid game, about 2,700 damage. Now, granted, the enemy team was quite rart. The T-40, what was it, the T-4485? Yeah, that guy, he was pretty not smart on where he decided to push his tank. No clue what the VK-100 doing. Yeah, there was a lot of rart on the enemy team, but overall, 2,700 damage is pretty dang solid. Let's do one more game and continue the battles. 
Now, for people that like burst tanks, vehicles like the M4 FL10 that can get out that damage, bang, 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 vehicles like the Chiri, that's what this is going to play like, or at least in my personal opinion. You're going to sit, you're going to see where, you know, somebody's very easy, somebody's, you know, either stuck out in the open or, you know, like the last battle there, you might even trade a shot and go bang, 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 and whip 660 hit points off. Like, that's a really chunky amount of hit points, too, when you think about it. You're dealing the same amount of damage as a 152 millimeter on a tank like the ISU 152, SU 152. That's an incredibly high amount of damage. And the fact that this is a medium tank with great mobility and very good accuracy and penetration, and sure, the DPM, a lot of people could argue, isn't great. But the DPM is not bad. When you think about it, this is on par with your average tier 8 autoloader. Vehicles like the AMX 5100, vehicles like the Emil 1951, and they're performing very, very well. Sure, you could argue that it's not, you know, your, uh, your, your medium tank, but I still think it's not your average medium tank DPM, should I say. Sorry. Very early in the morning. It's like 3.30 in the morning just because this is when the tanks come out for me, so that's a little bit unfortunate, but I gotta get you guys the videos early in the morning. So here we go again. We're going to continue to pop up this spot. I'm going to see if I can detect anybody, but no, it doesn't look like they're going this way. They have two VK-168s, which means, yeah, they're probably going to be pushing town. With that big brain ideology in my brain there, I'm hoping that if I get quick enough behind them, I'm going to be able to catch them and just get some massive chunks of damage out. So here we go. We are pushing as quickly as possible. Now, I don't think these tanks have PBR files. It doesn't look like it to me at all, which is unfortunate. I really do think PBR is the sexy. But uh, yeah, no, these tanks do not have the PBR files. We're going to continue the push here. Hopefully, we're going to spot a VK. Oh, yeah, there you go. That's what I'm talking about. There's one. There's two. And there's three. Oh, my God. There you go. That is what I'm talking about. A full health Amorak because I guess we were able to damage his Amorak. I saw the first shell damaged it, so I guess he just never fixed it. Well... That is incredible. Oh my god. Well, let's go for the other VK. If we got one, uh, you know what? We could also do the AMX, though. Oof. I did not mean to do that. Well, let's go for the AMX's rear again. There you go. Nice HE going in. We're already at 2,400 damage. Uh, that VK is not seeming very smart to me. He's... Yeah, I was about to say. I was like, is he actually going to aim at me that entire time? Huh. Okay, well, let's just reload here another couple seconds, and we're ready to dump once again. Here we go. We got the Pershing. We got the AMX. Let's go for the AMX first, and then let's go for the Pershing. As we know, I like getting my damage out. So there we go. Another pretty hefty chunk into the enemy team. We've just broken 3,000 damage. Now, granted, we wouldn't be sitting nearly as much as this if we didn't get extremely lucky, but either way, this tank is really, really fun to play. I'm extremely enjoying this so far. Let's go for this Pershing. Let's go aiming, and there's one miss right out in the flat open. There's a pen, and there's a pen. That's really unfortunate. We could have killed that guy very easily if those shots had penned. But uh, I guess that's my luck, right? All right, we're going to drive towards the mid. I'm hoping that we can get some shells into the SP-1C, maybe the T-34 Falcon. They've got a lot of healthy tanks left, which is... Not great for my team, of course, so let's go for this guy here. Let's aim in. There's one shell. There's a miss, and hopefully this guy's going to go for my VK, but we've also got the T-34 over here. Wow, this is really unfortunate, isn't it? Yeah, we're going to drive away. I, what's incredible to me is that we're actually losing this battle, even though I've managed to, like, literally Amorak a full health tank. So here we go, a couple more seconds left, and then we're going to reload and hopefully get some pretty bonking shells into this T-34. There's one shell, there's two shells, and there's three. Pretty hefty shells at that, 700 damage there. And now we turn and drive away as quickly as possible. Now this clearly is not going to be a win. It's just not possible. At this point, and in this time frame... Yeah, this is not a very, very fun battle going for the team, but let's go for one shell, let's go for a miss, and let's go for one more. Bip, thank you very much, and now we're going to drive away. Now, I do have good news. Their team is not very fast, and what that means is that I might be able to get away quickly enough to where I can actually get some pretty beefy shells into their team. So that's exactly what I'm going to try doing here. I know that SP-1C is going to try and get some shells into me. So let's see, is he going to poke it? Oh, no, oh, that's Pershing. And yeet, you're dead. Nobody likes you, you are smelly. Now, of course, I've also got to be worried about the SP-1C in mid. So let's see if I can get a shell into him. Uh, d -d -d drive, drive, drive. Okay, we're fine. We are fine for now. Let's keep going, let's keep going. Come on, sheesh. Sheesh, oh, we got the AMX, who's AFK, and then we got a VK, who's literally full health. Oh my god, that is so much pain. Well, um, I don't know what to say about this at this point. We 
we're doing pretty solid. You know, I can't really complain. This is a very, very high amount of damage dumped out for a medium tank, especially a tier 8 medium tank at that. But unfortunately, uh, the damage is not going to be rolling out. Probably much more in this battle. So, let's see. Um, mm, okay, well, they got a tank in the base capture. They got the 34 who just drove right out, and yeah. Unfortunately, the battle did not end 100% the way we wanted it to. I don't even know how the team lost that, judging that I literally ammo racked a full health tank. But, 5,755 damage is probably going to be the damage record in this vehicle for a very, very long time. Hopefully, all of you enjoyed today's video. If you'd like to see more like it, and on this tank, please let me know in the comments down below. Now, as I said, this tank seems incredibly fun. Even without that Amorak, we still could have easily done 4,000 damage to that battle. And honestly, if I hadn't have gotten unlucky on vehicles like that T-34, I probably should have stayed on the bridge. I think that was my mistake. If I'd stayed on that bridge, I could have killed the T-34, could have killed the SP-1C. Then I could have held that bridge. I definitely made mistakes here and there. But overall, that was a pretty tricky battle. And for me, it... 3.43 in the morning, I'll, I'll take it. Hopefully all of you enjoyed today's video. If you'd like to see more like it, please consider smashing that subscribe button down below, as I said two seconds ago, and I'll be seeing you in the next one. Bye-bye.